hi guys welcome to zomsala multimedia in this tutorial we are going to look at how to create student exam score sheet we were looking at how to create a template for students and also to enter their details the subjects and the scores for the subject that they will be writing at the end of the term examination or the yearly term examination so first of all we look at how we are creating the template we also look at the subjects we also look at the scores and we also look at the total scores for all the subjects the scores they will obtain at the end of the exams we also look at their percentages their ranks and positions we begin the process by creating a table or a template that will allow us to enter the details of the student. So right now, what we are supposed to do is to refer to the previous table. Then we calculate the number of columns and rows that we need. So in doing so, you can highlight the number of rows and columns. After you have highlighted the number of rows and columns that you need, you apply borders. So you apply borders, you apply all borders so that all the cells will be applied. You can highlight the, the selected area of the table then you go to the font style to change the font style and also change the font size here you can decide to do that later there wouldn't be any problem with that this means that someone may decide to apply the font style and the font size later after he has done with the entry of the data now we need to get the heading for the school and the exam score sheet so we have to merge the first row we merge the number of cells now to merge you can click and drag and you can also click on a cell press on the shift key and press the arrow key to get the number of targeted cells that you need so that when it is highlighted go to the alignment command and click on merge and center you can equally click on the drop down to choose how to merge cells While entering the data, 
you press on the tab key to move to the next cell on your right you can equally use the arrow keys to also move to the desired cells that you want Now let's try entering the student serial number. Others may use index number and others may also use register number. Now we also enter their names, both their surnames and first names. With the rules and columns or the cell expansion you you can highlight the targeted cells and go to the ribbon you go to the cells command then you click on format now in the drop down you can select the number of cells that you want then you can increase the height for the rows and also you can increase the width for the columns you can equally point your your cursor at the top where it changes to plus sign then you place it on the line then you drag it to expand the width you can also move to the row side then you place it on the line then you drag it down or top to also expand the rules. To change the font style and the font size of a cell, you click on the cell, then you go to the font command you can click on the drop down for the font style to change any desired font style and you can also click on the font size drop down to choose the desired font size you want and on the right near it you can also click to grow the font or shrink the font you can highlight the number of cells that you want now you move on the ribbon you go to alignment command now you can align the content of the cells to either right left or middle and you can also go and align the text inside the cells either top middle or bottom please subscribe to my channel to be able to access my videos anytime i drop one Thank you.
right now this bring us to the end of the tutorial for creating a template or a table for the student exam score sheet in our next tutorial we'll try to enter the data for the students <music>